Hey, welcome to the Friday Funnies, where there is no fake news ever. We just take the real news and twist it around to make it funny. And the lead story this week is that Stormy Daniels, you know her, the BFF of Donald Trump, she's getting divorced from her husband, Glandon Crane. And yeah, that's a weird name. The couple have been married since 2015, and they have a seven-year-old daughter. So, you know, you do the math. Anyhow, Crane is suing her for divorce, claiming she cheated on him. Really, Mr. Crane? You married a porn star. She was just going to work. That's what she does. Wake up and smell the latex, pal. Meanwhile, Costco has angered their customers by removing the Polish hot dog from their $1.50 menu uh, at the cafe. A regular hot dog is still there, but apparently there's a difference between that and a Polish dog. I don't know what it is. Costco said that they're going to replace the sausage with healthier options, like an organic veggie burger and a salad with soy topping. Really? Hey, Costco, take a good look at your customers. Do they look like a veggie burger crowd? I don't think so. Probably not since their cart is loaded with, you know, ribs and steaks. So it's time for you to wake up and smell the Polish dog. And believe it or not, these are not the strangest stories of the week. Here are more examples. Natasha Crown has a goal. She is a 24-year-old glamour model from Gothenburg, Sweden, and her goal is to have the world's largest backside. Her butt currently measures 70 inches across. Think about that for a minute. That's two yardsticks end-to-end -end full of ass. She's been piling on the calories with pizza and pasta and 15 jars of Nutella a month. She's even had fat taken from other parts of her body to plump her posterior. Well, I wish her well in her quest. I just wanted to, I just want to know one thing. What does she model? You know, is it car covers, tents? Perhaps she uses her butt as an advertising space. I don't know. This story might best be termed as astounding. <laughs> A zoo at the International Garden in Cairo, Egypt, is accused of deceiving their visitors. They showed off their newest exhibit of a zebra, only to have it revealed that the zebra in question was merely a painted-up donkey. Apparently, real zebras are hard to come by in Cairo, Egypt located in Africa, where zebras live. Anyhow, the zoo employees painted the donkey with black and white stripes. They trimmed its mane to make it look like a zebra, and it probably would have worked, except for the fact that it gets very hot in Cairo, and the heat caused the donkey to sweat, and the sweat made the paint run and smudge. Vet veterinarians were called in, and they agreed, hey, that animal's a donkey. The zoo officials claim they did nothing wrong, but they are scrapping uh, plans to show off their new baby elephant, which is really just a big mastiff dog with a fire hose attached to his nose. At the Spur Cross Conservation Area in Arizona, thieves have been sneaking in and stealing toads. You know, the, the Sonoran toad is the largest toad in the Southwest, and licking it causes hallucinogenic effects. That's right. You lick a toad, you can get high. And cameras in the uh, conservation area recorded people taking toads late at night. They took them home, they gave them a good lick, and then they just listened to the Grateful Dead all night. These toads can live for 20 years, which means they have a lot of good licks left in them. But be warned, because toad licking can lead to donkey painting or thinking that a six-foot butt looks good. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. Hey, that's it for another week, my friends. Thanks for watching the Friday Funnies. Please leave us a like at the end of this video. It would mean a lot to me. Well, not that much, but it would be very nice. And I'll see you back here with more news next week.